Eye eh, ni nyowa, a shiri la miro tu te pada tu o. Eh, a shiri la gidi lele yi o. Bangkok bi a shiri lele yi to tu yi o. Military intelligence yi tu a shiri wo o. Ha! Military intelligence yi, wanje ka mo wikbe, bo bo a wanto she o she lu ni nu Nigeria. A wanto wa ni nu government, lo wo lo wo yi bo ko ara mo ni wo. And there are some hardliners in this government that are sponsoring this kind of narratives. They just want to show that they can Islamize this country. They, they think about Taliban, they think about the Mujahideens, and they want to replicate it in this country. And they don't care what happened. They simply don't care, as long as at the end of the day, there's Sharia, military intelligence that time. We arrested those people. It is my organization that actually conducts interrogation and interview. And they mention names. I mean, I can't come on the air and start mentioning names of people that are presently in government now that I know. Presently that in government. Is presently in government. That the boys that we arrested mention. Some of them are governors now. Some of them are in the Senate. Some of them are in Asurok. The intention is to Islamize Nigeria. And practice Sharia. And um, it doesn't matter if some people die. It doesn't matter if we're embarrassed. It doesn't matter if our economy has degenerated. Look at the interest rate. When is some of them are in Azorok. Some of them are minister. Some of them are senator. Some of them are governors. Hey, Arakuri Yinini, I want the military intelligence. We talk a lot about boys. I want money, Ganye. We be lower lower by ye, and one you want in funny for minister, one funny for rep, one funny for governor. We be book one go one in one so rock. Should one bat out one more long, Nick Banyan. Nick bat out one more, Nick book boy by Jobba Buari, GPA Shensor or ye, or yet you want no yaggy for money. Nick bat you want more, Nick by Jobba Buari. Oh, yeah, ki won lo ro fun won ko la ko la ni. Shubo yi joba ne jiri a fi o wara won lo ri. Won ni ko o wala toke. Wikbe a won te mu nye o. E tu won si le. Ara kuri yi. Won ma tu pere pere o ro o. Military intelligence ni won. To je wikbe. E mo wikbe. Anybody can be intelligence. O le je ya wo e gan. To je wikbe. Bogbo no bo she fe mu e la ma wa. Won ni o po lo pa wun yon la won train. A won train ni o po lo pa won journalist. To je wikbe. A won ma anron won lo so do won tu won o te. Ni mo wikbe military intelligence ni won. Shubo. A won ta won mo ni igba nye. Ni igba. To je wikbe nè jiri a okun. Okun fun corruption. Nè jiri a je inu. To je wikbe. O ti ba je. Ti ki ba she be ni. A won fi o wo ara a won mo won ni ba yi. O ye ki won lo she da jo fun won ni. O ye ki won mo won kuro on le ni. Shu bo yi jo ba nè jiri a. Won ni ko o ko wa la to ke ni. A won te e mo nye o. E fi won si le o. Won na won de ni kota on fè she si. A won fi won si le ni. Won ni bi a won she yi soron lo won lo won ba yi. Won ni life wo a won. Won no wa to risk. A won o de ko anything. Won ni koto ba wun won ni ki wa wa she fa won. In koto ba wun jo ba nè jen ko wa she fa won ni. A rakon ni te e wo yi ni o. Won tu a shiri nè jiri a o. Won wa bi a she soron lo won lo won yi. I di ni nye ti won fi wa pas yi shari a lo. Won ni yi ba ti bo a yi ni won ti fe pas yi e. Ba yi ba yi. She di go go a won ti won di de soron ni national assembly. Ni nou she mba nye ti won pas yi shari a lo. De ya boko a rams. Boko ni wo gbo wo pata pata. Wo o kin shi o mo nè njiri a. A ra kouri nje ko ye wa wikbe. Wo fe wa islamay si nou nè njiri a ni. Che wo ikpe a de ti so no te le. Ti pe ti pe. La ti wo pari wo ro yi o. Wikbe che ni wo fe wa islamay si nou nè njiri a. Baba a re tu nou bu. Hey. A re tu nou bu ti pe. A wo lo wa approve fun wo ba yi. Ti pe ni lo wa fa ye gba wo. Wo wa mu wo. Si nou minister, wan mou wan, si nou si neto, wan fi wan jen, gomi nan, ni a wan boko. A wan boko ti a wan military intelligence, ti wan mou, ti wan ori wan gba mou ba yi, tu ye ki joba nè jira kou pa lè wan mou. A wan to wan shè, ti wan le wan mou kiri. 
I want to know why she. I want to jump on Nigeria and go go to. I want to did it she she. To ye ki elo ye ki fun wo e o ye ki fun wo. I want to ye ki ele e o le wo o e wo ye nyawa. Ka to test waju je ka fi o musi o. Ba kona ni o kuni boro. Hey, anso we be Nigeria. Religion si Nigeria is a scam wo. Kile e e ma binu o e ye nyawa. Tori a wa la fa wa tabi a wa pastor wa ni a shake kilo de e wo e ri ma je mi ni sholo wa mbi the most prayerful country in the whole world Afghanistan le ni Afghanistan Nigeria ni second the most corrupt country Nigeria ni second Afghanistan je number one the most terrorist country in the whole world, Afghanistan je number one, Nigeria je number two. E wè ye ni yo wa, bo bo e ri nye lo wa, bita ma fi hon wa. I ti ta fi nso ni nye. E ma gba dura o, e lo ri o ke o, a dura la yi si she o koni. E wo kate to te si wadju, e je ka okok boro le no, military intelligence yi o, won tu a shiri joba Nigeria o, won tu a shiri a won gomi no o, bo bo gomi no, a won gomi no Nigeria, bo kwa ramu ni won o, e pa wak bo un soke. And there are some hardliners in this government that are sponsoring this kind of narratives. They just want to show that they can Islamize this country. They, they think about Taliban, they think about the Mujahideens, and they want to replicate it in this country. And they don't care what happened. They simply don't care. As long as at the end of the day, there's Sharia, and there is uh, whatever thing they have in their head, and they want to achieve. So, these people that are sending messages are sponsored by Nigerians. They are escalating it because of tribal and religious sentiment. So, when you say this guy? And I was in the military intelligence that time. We arrested those people. It is my organization that actually conducts interrogation and interview. And they mention names. I mean, I can't come on the air and start mentioning names of people that are presently in government now that I know. Presently that in government. Is presently in government. That the boys that we arrested mentioned some of them are governors now some of them are in the senate some of them are in Asurok. the intention is to islamize nigeria and practice sharia and um, it doesn't matter if some people die it doesn't matter if you're embarrassed it doesn't matter if our economy has degenerated look at the interest rate look at the inflation rate look at the debt profile of nigeria they don't care as long as at the end, the Quran is at the sea. So some people in this country have this mindset. And we must tell the truth. If you tell the truth, you die. If you don't tell it, you die. Some people have this mindset to Islamize the nation. And they are in the government. And people know them. The DSS know them. The NIA know them. The DIA knows them. Can't, you know, when you say the DSS, and uh, yeah, they, they could be listening to you, but... So, they profile, part of their responsibility is to profile all of these persons before they either vie for elections or before, <clears throat> excuse me, they are nominated for any of these positions. Doesn't that happen? Don't they get intel and say, look, this, this and this is what we found, and then we don't think that this should proceed further? Doesn't that happen? It does. You know, when I worked with the DSS in 2007, uh, because when Yaradu approved the operational uh, order that we, we, we did, we now have to work together as a team. He actually forced all of us to sit down together and work together. I was surprised at the tremendous amount of information had by DSS. I was shocked. We in DI, I was in Defense Intelligence Agency, and when they were forced to bring out the, the files, I was shocked. They have so much information at DSS presently, as I'm talking about, about what I'm talking about. They have. But you see, if a fish is going to get spoiled, it's going to start getting spoiled from the head. DSS will not do anything except the commander in chief's body language shows that this is the direction I want to go. That is where the problem is. The DSS has tremendous information. By the time somebody takes over and wants to undo some of this evil that I've seen in this country, you will be surprised names that the DSS will bring out. They have the information. There's nothing I'm going to say here that they don't have. The defense headquarters have the solution for the kinetic aspect. They do. I'm not going to come here to advise them. I work with them. And they're still there. The chief of the other staff was in the intelligence with me. We were together in the first intelligence agency. That's uh, Vice Admiral Gambo. This, I know these people are good. They know what to do. It's not that they have problems. It has to do with politics. 
the sponsors, people that feel that this country should be Islamized. You, uh, uh, assuming, but not conceding that, I mean, that all of this is the case. So what is the end game? Because I imagine uh, as a strategist, that's what you think about. Too. So these things are happening. What is the end game? So why will this be allowed to fester? For what purpose? The end game for them, because um, we did, normally when, when you want to um, look at this type of challenges, what you do is that you go through what we call the intelligence circle. Okay? When you do the processing, and you do the analysis before dissemination point, you discover that the end game for them is to just turn this country into like a Taliban type of country. And it, it, it's, it's a mindset. And anything goes. In other words, 10% casualties, 20% casualties allowed in trying to achieve the end game of Islamism in this country. That's for the terrorists, the bandits. It's not for the terrorists and the bandits, for the sponsors. Because I told you, and I will repeat yeah. on this channel, the sponsors of Boko Haram and the bandits are the problems. And defense headquarters, the army headquarters, the naval headquarters, the air force cannot do anything about that. Buhari has to do something about that. The Interpol has the list of those people that are sponsoring Boko Haram. I work with Interpol. They should ask. If they don't know, they should ask. Hardliners in this government that are sponsoring this kind of narratives, they just want to show that they can Islamize this country. They, they think about Taliban. They think about the Mujahideens. And they want to replicate it in this country. And they don't care what happened. They simply don't care. As long as at the end of the day, there's Sharia and there is uh, whatever thing they have in their head and uh, they want to achieve. So these people that are sending messages are sponsored by Nigerians. I'm sorry if I could follow up on that one. quickly. Please go ahead. This part of uh, you know, what you just spoke about now, did the security agencies glean this from those who they arrested over time? Abs saying this is the intention. Absolutely. The intention of, it's, it's, in the, it's on the internet. So it's not even about the people we interrogated. The intention is to Islamize Nigeria and practice Sharia. And um, it doesn't matter if some people die. It doesn't matter if you're embarrassed. It doesn't matter if our economy has generated. Look at the interest rate. Look at the inflation rate. Look at the debt profile of Nigeria. They don't care. As long as at the end, the Quran is at the sea. So some people in this country have this mindset. And we must tell the truth. If you tell the truth, you die. If you don't tell it, you die. Some people have this mindset to Islamize the nation. And they are in the government. And people know them. The DSS know them. The NIA know them. The DIA knows them. Because it is the DIA that conducted the operations that arrested these sponsors. So they know them. Why is the government, the, so the commander-in-chief of the armed forces? The, the general area of... The position is usually uh, quite tricky. I mean, people listening, some might take different perspectives to it, thinking, oh, is this a religious thing? Is this an ethnic thing? They ask, is it only Muslims you have in the military? Is it only people from this certain uh, yeah. uh, uh, cultural you know, heritage that you have in the military? And I'd like us to tackle the issues. You have uh, mentioned what you have called the core, as it were, of the problem. How do we tackle this without viewing it from a religious spectrum, an ethnic spectrum? Because you know well Nigeria is quite you know, uh, polarized across you know these groups ethnicity and religious how do we tackle it without coming off as though you're inciting people you know on those lines you see one thing I discover in this country is that when it comes to religion everybody is very sensitive but the fact I have laid bare is from the experience of 35 years of military intelligence so I'm not coming to the air so whip up sentiments, no. I have been in the system. I work with Abacha government. I work with uh, Babangida government. I work with Abu Salam. I work with Yaradu Albasanjo. As a core insider of corporations, I belong to a group of people that you are not supposed to, to see, people that you are not supposed to hear. Because we have three classes of military officers. I belong to the worst group. I lost my family because my family 
does not have to know where I have been, where I have gone, and I cannot talk. I've seen Cornel here, I've seen Stan Lambo. Some of us belong to that group that we are not supposed to be seen, and we are not supposed to be heard. The truth I'm telling you now is not about sentiment. Is that there are a group of people in this country that feels that this country should be Islamized. This is a fact. Except you want me to start mentioning names of people in this government that we have interrogated. I was a member of an interrogation team. And I've interrogated a very high-ranking member of this government in 2007-2008 on the issue of Boko Haram. I interrogated him. He's in this government right now. And what was the issue? Boko Haram. And this senior officer was actually let go because it, it, he was found culpable. But right now he's in the government. You see, we must say the truth because if you don't, this country is going down the precipice. We have been set back more than 60 years right now. We've gone back to the time before 1966 now. And whoever is coming back to repair this country has a lot of work to do. This country has never been polarized, so we cannot run away from it. We have never been this much polarized. I'm a federal person. My mind is federal. My brain is federal. My loyalty is federal. I kill, I do things for the federal government. So I cannot come here and try to be sentimental. No. I'm a federal person. So will your life be at risk now that they're hearing I, you? I don't care. I don't care. And um, my colleagues, they know me. Those people that are listening to me, they know me. I don't care. The issue is that this country is bigger than an individual. That is the issue. This country is bigger than individuals. Uh, eliminating me or killing me will not solve the problem. I will not add value. But he will come and go. And somebody must come and repair the damage to the psyche of this society. The damage to the polarization, to the nepotism that I've never seen in my life. I work with all these presidents. This is the worst situation I've found myself. And believe me, internet does not forget. I was part of the people that helped to bring Buhari to government because I believe in him. Have you worked with the government after that? After, After you helped bring the government. Oh, of course, I worked with him. We brought him in in 2015, and I work as the Deputy Director of Defense Administration. And we have a lot of hope in him. And we actually are ready to do anything for him. What he has turned out over the years is shocking to us. I was in Harvard in 2014 in December, when the Department of State Services and CIA and others were contemplating about Buhari and other uh, aspirants. I know what we did to convince the American government that the only person that can come and put this country right is Buhari. That was before the, uh, the Lagos uh, um, the uh, APC, yeah, the before they choose within. Right. And that was how Tinubu came in. We know what we did, but what he has done in the past six years is shocking. It's unprecedented. And it should not be allowed to be swept under the carpet because the damage to the psyche of this country is monumental. Mm. We'll talk more. We'll be completely different. What was the point you were going to make about the media? <clears throat> there is nothing that is going on today that is not actually tainted by the media. How? And that is why I have to come here and make both to say what I've said. The media also know 80% of what I've said now. But they will not publish it. 
They know. I work with journalists. I was Deputy Director of Foreign Liaison at Defense Intelligence Agency. I work with journalists. I was Commandant Defense uh, Intelligence College. I work with journalists. I train journalists in intelligence operations. They know. So why are they not also saying the obvious so, that we help the security and safety so at that and time, progress of this country? So at that time that you work with the journalists and you know, training them and doing all of that, did you give them permission to publish your name as a source if they were going to go to press with those details? Oh, I, I, I did. You know, it, it was a policy because, you see, when I was made the commandant of defense intelligence... No, no, because, you know, you had said that uh, you were not... You belonged to a group that was not supposed to have been heard or seen. Yeah. So how did you give them permission to publish your name? Yeah, because at that time, I was holding a different appointment. I've held a lot of appointments in the military. There are certain appointments I will hold that has no connotation with the intelligence at all. For example... I was the Chief of Staff Logistic Command for the Navy. That appointment has nothing to do with intelligence. I was the Defense Advisor to Nigeria in France. It has nothing to do with intelligence. So there are times I hold appointments and I have to deal with journalists. And I must tell you, I can mention some of them, Mohammed of NTL, I trained them because I wanted them to understand that military intelligence it's not like a cult. I expose some aspect. Even though most of their documents are usually top secret and they tell you you can't publish or even access the document. No, even no, if you no, see no, it no, by no, mistake. No, 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 no. There are places you process top secret. I mean, if you want to talk about document security, it's a lecture of, of, it, of itself. Mm -hmm. You have unclassified materials. You have confidential materials. You have secret uh, materials and you have top secret. There are processes. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an area of military that uh, you need to do a lot of training. So when we bring journalists in and talk to them, we ensure that they don't see unclassified materials. And it's just for them to understand how the system works. Basically, if you go to Afghanistan, if you go to Iraqi, you see journalists embedded with the military. But it's not the case here. I think I tried to encourage you when I was the commandant that we should allow journalists to, to have access to some of the things we do so that they can say it as it is. Because when I conducted the operation in 2007 uh, in Angola and I came to Nigeria, uh, what, what you read in the newspapers, what you hear uh, on television and what you see are completely skewed from what we were doing. So why did they want that to happen here? to embed journalists? I, I just think it, it, it's um, myopism. We have a lot of illiterates in the government that don't understand that uh, hiding things in this 21st century doesn't work anymore. Uh, they try to, to hide information and they try to protect what they think is corruption to me. That's why they don't allow journalists to actually assess some of these things because this is the most corrupt country in the history of this country right now. Mark, what? Since we know we have irresponsible people at the policy level, there are times we don't listen to them. So I can assure you on this station that the military will get them, they will go after them, and they will hunt them down. And they're not going to follow all these mullah, imams, and all those people that feel that it is their birthright to, to, to Islamize this country and destroy the essence and the fabric of safety, progress of this country. So the military, they're going to disobey. They're going to go out after them. And okay, just one more thing as we wind down. Um, what would you advise Nigerians? I mean, they've listened to you, several things going through different people's mindset, uh, minds now. What would you advise them to do in terms of, um, in the light of all that is going on, how should they conduct themselves? What should they do such that we all can have, at least contribute in whatever way we can to have a country? Which are you referring to now? Nigerian citizens who are not perhaps uh, in the military. 
regular yeah. citizens. Are you talking about the civil society? Civil yes. society. What they should do? Yeah. I think what they should do, uh, for me, um, the failure of governance um, is dependent. It's like a variable. When you look, do a simple linear regression, the failure of a government is dependent on the failure of the civil society. So you have two variables, a failed government or irresponsible government, and you now have at the other side an irresponsible and a failed civil society. This civil society has also failed. You cannot allow somebody to, to do for the past six years what this government and the so-called cabal, whatever you call them, have been doing to this country. And the civil society has been quiet. They have to speak out. They have to come out and resist tyranny. This is tyrannical government. You have to resist it. You don't wait until maybe he leaves. Then you start, everybody will now jump out and start talking. Because the damage this government is going to do in the next two years is going to be more. She ti ba wa gbo won beyen eh eh she ti wa ri idi ta gbo do fi gba ori lede wa she ti wa ri ta ba so wipe a o le ma ba lo ba ninu nigeria we can continue like this e wa wo awon ti won fi sipo idi niyan e lo si inu national assembly tu won ba ni won se meeting e o le gbo ki omo yoruba kan ko soro ni be e wo igba ti won fi pass bill ni sharia omo yoruba mele lori de to soro I want to one day I want boko ni one man kati one she just the page of an Nigeria I want that boko one more pata pata. Titi loko I want DSS one ni I want DSS it that one more N I N ti one party wo e wa register o N I N ni o boko information I want pata information I want boko information I want governors ti one je boko ni nun Nigeria. Information I want minister to want your book on Nigeria. Information I want to want your senator to want your book on Nigeria. I want I N one more one. I want N I N one more one. But but information I don't want no one more. She more got to buy for this thing. She did buy a couple of years. She did get the letter to want to buy when you read the book. She felt what test you want to do. Any any one. Ni igba to ye pe awon to nse omo Nigeria won ko ko won wole tori pe won fe wa islamize inu ilu won ni gbogbo awon ti won je kaba yen ni won mo si ni won fi owo si gbogbo ona ti won fe gba islamize inu ilu ohun na wa ni sharia law ti won pada wa pass yi an so fun wa wi pe yoruba e ma je ki gbogbo kan ti won se ko fun wa laka mo e je kan ti gbara wa Eh, hey, Nigeria, as of our own, you borrow. Hmm. Eh, wo, Sherry, eh, wo, go, so, okay. The recent study by StatiSense revealed data about the League of Pray Nations, which showed that 95% of Nigerians say that they pray daily. We are the second highest in the world, by the way, after Afghanistan. Well, let's take a look at the statistics of the top nine uh, countries of those who pray daily. Let's look at that. Here, look at that. <laughs> Number one is Afghanistan. Number two is Nigeria, 95%. Is then we have Algeria at 88%, Senegal <laughs> at uh, 88%, Djibouti at 87 Iran 87 Iraq 87 Niger 87 Indonesia. Then bottom nine, which is... Uh, <laughs> China at number. China, China, China don't care about. Don't care about. Can we pull up the other yeah. graph because I want to yes. do another type of uh, comparison. This one is a uh, prayer versus terrorism again. <laughs> Afghanistan top that list, and then uh, there's another uh, chart if you can pull that up. Prayer versus corruption rank again. Nigeria is number two. I mean, what does this say about our nation? Uh, Kayo, there's really a lot of issues there, and it boils down to the fact that prayer alone is not the answer or solution. It is not the fault of churches, it is not the fault of anybody. If you fail to do the right thing, morals is more important. It is good to pray, but you can't just say that all you want to do is just pray, pray, pray. See, we pray. Hey, 
Nigeria o bo gba won pastor o ma ni je ka fadura aro Nigeria lowo o ya let us pray o ori oke ya o ori oke eh ajo gba Jesu ori oke idera gbogbo e ka ma lo sibe ori oke rimo ka ma lo be ka lo ma gba adura adura lai si se oku ni e wa wo gbogbo awon orilede ti won list yen ti won o ki n gba adura rarararara e wo oro aje won a o so bi gba adura o ta o sugbon te yan ba gba adura ko ma sise ma ko gba adura ko kokko wo lowo ko ma sise ebi ma pa oni ton un ni e wa wo awon orilede the most prayerful country in the whole world oni afghanistan ba oni afghanistan se ri leni the most terrorist country in the whole world afghanistan the most corrupt country e awon na ni e wa wo second awon ton gbe igba keji the most prayerful country in the whole world nigeria ni o le nwo yen the most terrorist country nigeria ni the most corrupt country nigeria lo gbe igba keji e ba wa ri e ba wa ma wo be yen e wa wo awon orilede to ye pe they they are prayerless won n gba dura la 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 se tin ni won india se ri china se wo won awon ile je ke won te n gba dura iziro ni iziro percent ni wa dura won sugbon leni ibe ni are bola metunubu lo won n gba dura ni be china ti won lo losu to koja ti won ko won lo nu labu ti won ni won ko won bi won se fe se eto ilu won awon lo se fowo so wopo pelu won ki won ba le ba won boost the economy ki won ibi ti won lo ye won ki gba dura nbe o sugbon the same are bola metunubu yi ni won gbe 90 billion sile wi pe ki awon ko fi lo si aj ko sadura fun nigeria se ri pe tori e lo ba awon tu ye pe is zero prayer ni won won gba dura la 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 eyin lo ba won ki won wa ba yin boost the economy ki ilu yin sugbon eyin te n gba dura owo tu e ke yin go ke fi boost the economy ki ilu yin owo tu e ke fi tu ilu ilu se ke fi pese ise e ko fun awon okan eni kan fi lo si aj kan fi lo gba dura e jo lagba ti wa ti aj de o kini ere da n gbowo kan kini ki la ri to se pare e jo e jo e ba mi so eyin eniyan wa kini yi pada yi oko te to ti de ba inu ilu yen lati gba ti won ti lo si aj de se ti won ti ko 90 billion sile pe kan fi lo si aj se ilu yen ti wa yi pada nje china gbe owo fun awon omo ilu won kan lo si aj lo gba dura nje won gbo fun won ki won lo jerusalem nje won gbo fun awon okan wi po ya o e ba wa se adura o owo adura re o se won gbo won le sugbon bayi awon ni nigeria lo nsaba sugbon bayi ibe na ti lo ya owo owo ti won de lo ya ari ara won ni won ti lo awon lo lo wo won fi so wo osu laari ara won se ri wi pe nkan ta mi so fun wa niye we pe religion in nigeria is a scam o religion in nigeria tori awon to je religious leaders won yen awon lu e ko ma ba awon to je oloselu so ododu oro sugbo awon na won wo wi pe awon to so the business a o ni adura o da o e ma si wa gbo o gbogbo wa ko se ni to le la inu e enu wa yi enu olukaluku wa enu ase ni ko si bi ta ba duro si ta ba gba duro at olorun o gbo ko di wa ta ba wa ko gbogbo owo eleeto e ka fi tu inu ilu se owo tu e ke fun mekunu owo tu e ke fi sha inu eni keji yin ke wa ko ojo ke ni eyin eyin o e odidi nigeria giant of africa eyin ko wo lo si aj se bi won se nto ilu niyan se bi ilu se ndagba soke niyan se lo agbo kan ta won ni we iroyin so wi pe awon orilede to je pe they are prayerless won n gba dura rarara sugbon leni ko si orilede kan te ma koko daruko ke to daruko won nipa eto oro aje infrastructure kan develop inu ilu they are number 1 sugbon nigeria the most corrupt country now awon ni second the most terrorist country awon ni leyin afghanistan e o le mu ilu mi nigeria lo kan e wa so fun wa le to ba ya gan nigeria ma pada wa worst ju afghanistan tori awon ti e gbo ti intelligence ministry so ni sin yi won ti wa ninu nigeria won le ti wa ninu government lati wa islamize inu ilu yen yen tumo si wi pe ko se nikan to ma gbe pe ki mo 
o la tori de tin pariwo si eti gbogbo agbagba ile yoruba omo yoruba e je ka ji loju orun wa won ti wa ni ni ilu eleki se pe ya e ma je kon wole won ti won ti already wa ninu government e apere e ma fi ti governor sanfara ke fi sa pere governor sanfara o ara won ni ohun de ni minister of defense state e lowo lowo igba kon wa ta mu iroyin wa fun wa to 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 ko he lost van. To kota won boko ara mu lore. E o former governor, o ti wa je present minister. Ti o se ngbo. Eni to je wipe o hun lo nsa gba te ro fa won agbe sun mo mi, won ti wa fi je minister. Se ti wa ri gboro intelligence military to so won paro o. To bu ko to so e be gele lo se ri, tori a ri bai ninu won. I don't buy it. We go for Jura Wari. It is a finish. But only the Yoruba. No going back in here. And yet, you know what? Or let's go. Let no intelligence military you. Let's be back now. Let's go. We need to eat. Go come go. I want more Yoruba. Let's go. We pay. Let's go. 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 let us go let us Sharia law. Because the moment you want to say you did me too poor, one girl one way in your own in your own way in your. If that's what person girl one way in your then one year. Or more twelve years old, to go to girl where. Chatty, but you want girl one money. Ni ni naughty. One no gif or no. Edjo, but to buy ya. What's all about buying a new? What's all the me too poor? What girl one way in your. I want to find. To want to be there in the national assembly. Let you in your. I want to see show fi yen de apoko arams won fe wa islamize inu ilo ni omo yoruba e je ka ji loju orun wa eyin lodun fe wa ni ori kan yi emi na lo mo yin ore yin olodun fe yin aburo yin asake tv show e be wa pe logologun e pe logbologbo ni ori kan ni wa na ni bi ni asake tv show e ma gbe let ba fi ero ngba yin si abe foran yi elede mo re aran wa lowo amo wa dile leri a o ni da mu tomo tomo o odudu wa gbe wa o lase itumo re Attempts to small problems before it becomes uncontrollable.